Hello everyone and welcome to our Tuesday Tips. And today's first tip is for aspiring expats um, and particularly for those of you who are using your career to move abroad. And I just want to focus on really two things um, today. Um, one is looking at your contract. So when you're moving abroad, using your career, it means you're going to be taking a job somewhere else, um, you'll have an employer, um, the likelihood is that you will get a contract and that contract will have a specific term, time limit, term limit. Um, and so that could be anywhere from a year to three to four to five years. Uh, make sure that you are in agreement with that time frame, that limit, and that should be explained to you or have a conversation during your interview. Um, and along with that time limit, then you'll come some benefits over those period of years that you are working with um, your company abroad um, or organization or your higher institution. And so making sure that that were discussed um, during your interview, or if they were discussed, the things were being offered or accessible to you. Things like, are there housing accommodations or housing accommodations? Um, things like transportation, will that be part of your expenses um, for yours or your organization? Um, if you are taking children and you're moving with your family, are there education expenses? that are taken care of partially or fully by your organization. So make sure you're reading through your contracts very well to understand what are the benefits that they're giving you, um, what does that mean for your out-of-pocket expenses, um, and then take that into consideration um, as you continue to negotiate and eventually accept the job and make that leap abroad.